Howdy chaps, before we begin, just want to really quickly announce that I now have two new channel membership tiers available here on YouTube, with one starting as low as only $2. So if you want to be super cool and support the channel, and get some extra channel perks like a special badge near your name, merch discounts, the chance to watch some videos early, and more, be sure to click on the big join button below the video for more information. Anyways, on to the video! Need more memory, bud! guys and welcome back to another mystery bit video right here on Tetra Bay Gaming, the series where we take a look at some mysterious stories, rumors, and hoaxes in gaming. Well this time it's also kind of a lost bit since it is unused content, so think of it however you want. And it seems like I've been doing nothing but Mario videos for the past few weeks, so I definitely think it's time for a bit of a change. Anyways, so what seems like forever ago at this point, I made a Lost Bits video covering the unused and debug content in Sonic CD. But one thing I purposefully left out from that video is one level that was entirely scrapped from the game. Since its discovery, this deleted stage has become colloquially known as R2, and not to be confused with a certain astromech droid from a certain War of Stars, this is probably the most mysterious bit out of Sonic CD's plethora of unused content. Yeah, even more mysterious than what Sonic's feet look like. Now for starters, you might be wondering why a Sonic stage is just called R2, and not something more creative like Greener Hill Zone. Well this name actually derives from the way we even know this deleted stage exists in the first place. So the way that this stage's existence was ever even proven was by examining the files of the first PC port version of the game. When having a look at the level files for Sonic CD, fans noted that there was a skip in the order of the levels. Let me give you some context here. Sonic CD uses a certain naming convention in its files. Following the letter R, the first number dictates the zone, the second number the act, and then a letter A, B, C, or D for the present, past, good future, and bad future of any given stage respectively. So in the files, fans noted that all the R1 files, being Palm Tree Panic Zone, were immediately followed by R3, Collision Chaos Zone. R2 was skipped and is missing from the files of the game completely, and of course this is how it got its unofficial name as R2. Even more evidence that a second stage was scrapped also exists in Sonic CD. If you manage to access the level select in the game with a cheat code, you will also notice that the stage number jumps from 1 to 3. The second stage also appears to be missing in all of the known prototypes of Sonic CD. So whatever the stage was intended to be, it appears that it was scrapped pretty early on in the game's development. Like here, in the 510 prototype of the game's level select, the second stage is also missing and is replaced by the words warp, opening, and calming. In any case, just based on there being three missing segments for the second stage, it appears that R2 also would have had three acts associated with it. Alright, so we know the stage was cut, and that's nice and all, but what did it look like? And more importantly, why was it cut? Well, first let's tackle what the stage may have looked like. Now, I say may, because to this day no playable version of the stage has ever been played by the public, let alone seen. All that is left to us are bits and pieces to get a glimpse into what it might have been, as well as several theories. One prominent theory speculates that R2 would have had similar characteristics to Marble Zone from the first Sonic the Hedgehog game. This theory stems from fans noting that Sonic CD's levels follow similar styles to that of Sonic 1, and in the same order as well. For example, the first stage in Sonic CD, Palm Tree Panic, features the same grassy overworld with waterfalls like the first stage in Sonic 1, everyone's favorite, Green Hill Zone. And the same goes for the rest of the stages, including the bouncy, dusk-like setting of Collision Chaos and Springyard Zone, the water mechanics in Tidal Tempest and Labyrinth Zones, and Stardust Speedway and Starlight Zone both being in an urban environment under the stars. As such, since the second stage in Sonic 1, Marble Zone, doesn't have a correspondingly themed zone in Sonic CD, the theory points to R2 also being intended to be an uh, ancient ruins themed stage, which, not gonna lie, would have been pretty cool to see with the game's time travel mechanic. 
on the flip side, there is another theory that suggests that R2 was just repurposed in the game as Title Tempest. This theory goes back to the same idea with the stages mirroring the styles from Sonic 1, but with the knowledge that Labyrinth Zone was actually intended to be the second zone in Sonic 1, before being shifted over to being the fourth. As such, some fans believe that maybe Title Tempest was supposed to be the second stage in Sonic CD, but when the dev team learned that Labyrinth Zone was being shifted in Sonic 1, they too shifted Title Tempest and just failed to ever replace the R2 slot. So those are the prominent theories on R2, but there's also some more concrete evidence for what it was supposed to look like as well. First up is this drawing. Now, I know it might just look like an elementary school art class project, but this sketch was actually briefly shown off in a Sonic CD Developer Diary video from 2011. We also experimented with various colors. For example, color palettes for specific stages, or colors we thought would be fitting for the future scenes. These are the sketches showcasing those ideas, such as this one, the rainbow-colored waterfall, which we thought would be interesting and fun. As you heard, they don't outright say that this is from an unused level in the video, but Christian Whitehead, aka the Taxman, who was behind the official remaking of Sonic CD, did confirm that this sketch was in fact from R2. From this sketch, we can see that the stage was to feature aqueduct-like structures with rainbow-colored waterfalls. These aqueducts also kind of support both theories from before, that it could have been either a ruins-themed level like Marble Zone, but could have just as easily been an early concept for Tidal Tempest. The other big piece of R2's evidence is the uncut and extended version of the Sonic CD's ending video, which normally shows off animations of Sonic in most of the game's areas. The once cut segment that is now seen in all the current versions shows off an area that wasn't seen in the final cut, and since it's played right after the first stage's animation, fans have concluded that it has to be related to R2. On the other hand though, Tidal Tempest also initially never had an animated sequence at the end of the game, so this could have been for it too, though it doesn't really resemble it at all. Either way, in this video we can see that the stage it's representing would have had ground tiles that break apart, metallic-like structures, as well as an overgrowth of vegetation, also adding to the notion that it would have had a ruins theme. At the end of the clip, it also shows off the antlion enemy, which the taxman has also confirmed was supposed to be an enemy in R2, before then being considered for metallic madness, and then finally just being scrapped from the game altogether. In addition to the antlion, the taxman confirmed a few more things for us. Firstly, this worm enemy and this burrow bot that also had their sketches shown off in the developer diary were also planned to appear in R2, but were scrapped. While working on Sonic CD, the taxman also came across these sprites, which he says is basically all that remained of R2 when he was working on the remake. Here we can see unused sprites of the antlion in both its R2 and R8, or metallic madness forms, as well as the burrow bot and worm-like enemy I mentioned previously. There's also the R2 boss sprite of Eggman in some sort of wheel vehicle, showing off that Sonic would have had to fight him here as well. Surprise, surprise. The Taxman also went ahead and confirmed that the second animated clip that was originally left out from the game was indeed R2. He also mentioned that the animation studio that made these clips worked on the cutscenes very early in the game's development, at a time where it's very possible that Tidal Tempest wasn't even planned for the game yet. The other question about this mysterious level remains though. Why would the second planned stage for Sonic CD be scrapped like this? While it's still not 100% certain, we did get a semi-official explanation for this. In an email interview with Jim Trethaway, a developer that ported the original version of the game to PC, he was asked the following question. In Sonic CD, while porting it, were you ever aware or did you ever hear anything of a possible R2 directory? The current level structure jumps from R1 to R3, and R2, a long lost missing level, is, of course, not there. To this, Mr. Trethaway answered that basically during the development of Sonic CD, a single software engineer was assigned to each stage and tasked to code and debug it, and these engineers all worked independently of each other. 
He also mentions that although not explicitly stated, when asking Junetsu Kakuda, a Sonic CD developer who did the framework to piece the levels together, he got the impression that the engineer who worked on R2 simply just didn't really do a good job of designing the level, so it was scrapped from the final product. Yep, simple as that. Apparently whatever R2 was, it just didn't meet a certain standard of quality they were looking for. Again, this is not 100% certain, but I think this answer is very believable and is likely indeed what had happened. But in this whirlpool of facts, theories, and concept art, the mystery still remains and is now only partially solved. I mean, to this day, we only have a crude concept sketch as well as a short 5 second animation to have an idea of what R2 could have looked like. And the mystery also still kind of remains whether or not R2 was repurposed into Tidal Tempest, or if that stage is a complete standalone. Now personally, I really agree with the theory of all the Sonic CD level themes lining up with the ones from Sonic 1. It just correlates really well, and from the conceptual proof of the stage we do have, I would be surprised if the stage wasn't actually a ruins themed level like Marble Zone. But I guess until hopefully one day a beta build of Sonic CD with R2 still intact gets leaked, all we can really do is guess and speculate of what could have been. But I would love to hear what you guys think about R2 down in the comments below and what you think it could have been. Was it to be a ruins themed level or was it just an early version of Tidal Tempest? As always, I hope you enjoyed this mystery bit, and if you did, be sure to slap a like down below, and also subscribe for more Sonic and Mystery Bit videos in the future. Also, be sure to check out some more of my Mystery Bit videos by clicking on the card right here. If you want to support me and stay even more up to date, be sure to check out my merch, as well as swing by my other social media things, which will be all linked in the description below. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in, stay awesome, and I will see you! in a bit.